Hello everybody and welcome to episode 13 of Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. I did a few things in between episodes and on stream, so let me go over that right now. And basically what I have over here is just some basic resources automated with material storm factories and a dense cobblestone generator. We crafted that on stream. This makes 512 cobblestone each second, which is really cool. Uh, so we have this guy producing gravel, this guy's producing sand, this guy's producing dust, and this guy's also producing sand. It's basically making sandstone. It could be still making sand and we could just uh, reduce one step here, but I don't think it matters. Maybe it does. What if we do, what if we stop it? And then it just extracts sand and it should just be faster, I think, because it doesn't have to wait and then extract. Okay, that's fine. Sweet. So these top ones here, this one's making silicon and apparently now the silicon is a different type while I updated. It makes the silicon from nuclear craft. So let's go grab a, a dick, dictionary, dick, 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 dick. Dick T R, isn't it a Nord dictionary? Oh, it's a conversion upgrade, is what it's called. This guy. Okay, we're gonna store a little bit less silicon, but that is perfectly fine with me. Uh, just so I don't have to change it up again. So this should start putting in silicon now. Awesome. Okay, and it's gonna start producing faster. Uh, we have glass. I'm making stone bricks just because we can. I'm also making polished stone and uh, just regular stone. And I have an external storage on top of each of these. I could add the drawer controllers and then run less external storages, but I think it's fine for now because uh, we we run out of we're gonna run out of channels kind of sort of soonish. So we're gonna we're gonna get to sorting that up and making more ME controllers. But today I want to automate the delighted meals. Uh, I don't think if I have if I have anything else different. I mean, some drawers are missing, and I need to move them around or add new ones. Uh, but uh, over here, I did make uh, some dye essence, so we are getting uh, or made dye seeds, so we're getting dye essence now. So we have no problems with doing dyes anymore. And I kind of forget this in between episodes, and I just <laughs> or in between uh, when I play. And then I still have to, I still go to my petals and craft it out of petals, which is kind of funny. I have a froster making snow because we're going to need snow for the, whatchamacallit. And I can probably put this guy over here because I have space right, right up there. We can put the froster and the snowballs, which is going to be cool. But over here in the back, I have a animal rancher uh, ranching this one single cow making milk. Then it's being transported with, with a conduit underneath here because it's faster than the speed of the, uh, the pulling speed of this guy, even though this is still set to pull. So we kind of do pull and transfer from the bottom. Uh, then we have another, uh, or then we have a push, I believe, push and pull here that makes uh, milk buckets. And I could be probably just putting milk buckets into here and making milk in here and not using two crafters, but it's okay. We store fresh milk in here because each milk bucket makes four fresh milk. So that is cool. Um, and yeah, uh, that is pretty neat. So we have milk. Uh, then this crafter turns the milk with a pot and some salt into cheese. And then it turns also a mixing bowl, uh, heavy cream and saucepan. No, it turns the mixing bowl and the fresh milk turn into heavy cream. And then the heavy cream with the saucepan and salt turns into butter. But we're kind of uh, not producing enough salt right now because this fluid crafter is as fast as it can be, which is crafting every so often. Um, and we could probably increase this with a sequential fabricator, but we don't have the, the ability to make those yet. So I might put in more of these fluid crafters in the back making more salt, or we could extract, uh, have a sink and then put in water buckets into a crafter here uh, we could do everything in this crafter probably. I might actually just move the uh, the milk in the back uh, into into this crafter because it still has uh, a bunch of recipes left over. So we can just craft everything here. Uh, but yeah, uh, I need to add still a drawer controller here because I have drawer controllers here on the bottom. I can show you. I have one here in the middle, one over there in the middle and one over there in the middle because if I had just this one, uh, the drawer controller reaches 12 blocks out and this dirt uh, drawer is 13 blocks out. So it didn't reach to, to here. So I had to do three separate ones. So yeah, uh, let me finish off on this and see what I want to do about the salt production. I'm going to play around with that. 
And then we're gonna go and hopefully go to the end so we can get an angel ring finally. Uh, but for that, I'll make a bow here. Just real fast, I, I decided for a short bow, because uh, we can. And I haven't used short bows before, I always use crossbows, so we're just gonna do that. We have a 1.22 draw speed. Uh, we have 1.92 range multiplier, 9.1 damage, 7.6 to attack, 2000 durability. We have Devil's Strength, which does bonus damage to non-overworld mobs, which is cool. Every tick, there's a small chance that the holder's poison is healed. That's fine. We have Global Traveler. We can shift right click a block in order for items from broken blocks and killed entities to get transported into there if it's an inventory. We also get crits on bosses and players, and we can set a portal and we can teleport there, which is weird. But that's Osgloss Glass and the Osmiridium, basically. That's Iridium and Osmium. Uh, so we'll just, just do short, Shorty, it's gonna be called. It's gonna be Shorty, okay? And then an arrow, I decided to go with Demonic, Treated Wood, and Invar, and we get ammo 11. That's very little ammo. How does one increase the ammo? Um, because this will run out. I mean, ecological is gonna repair it, but we have two modifiers only. Uh, I don't know if these these do have a XP, so we could level it up and get that going. But we have fourteen attack. I don't know if this is good, and we need demonic. I mean, we need demonic metal to repair it, which isn't that bad. Well, let's try it and see see what what happens. It's dark outside right now, so let's go let's go shoot some mobs. And see how how much damage this does. Any mobs gonna spawn? I need to reset my my JEI settings. Oh, that's kind of slow, and it does a little bit of damage. Okay. I don't know what. If you have any suggestions for what materials we can use for this, and it's so hard to aim. Sorry, dwarf doe. Oh, that's a compressed creeper. I maybe not want to kill him. Oh, we are ha adept at handling the shorty. And this is already out of XP. So we need to repair it again. Okay, now let me see about leveling this up as well. And also doing the whole delighted meal thing because we're at five food. So I'll probably do that first. Uh, but can I use just this in here or do I have to make sharpening kits? I have to make sharpening kits, it looks like it. So let's go like that, and that can just melt down. Uh, I also removed my um, my smart outputs because I needed to make more casts, and it's just more difficult to do that to do it that way. So yeah, I'll make more sharpening kits, uh, do the whole delighted meal thing, and I'll be back shortly. I have everything set up here in the back. I found out that this water condensator is the fastest thing that can produce water buckets as of my knowledge uh, right now. So I have just one single crafter making fresh water. The, the, the reason we have to make fresh water is because to make salt, if I look at, uh, I'll just look at salt, and there's Pam's Harvest Craft Salt, you need a either a water bucket and a pot, or a fresh water, and the fresh water doesn't have like the, the bucket residue, if, if you call it that way. And the way these crafters work, you can set up a recipe to either all of it to go to the external buffer, uh, I'll change it here, everything to stay in the input buffer, or you can uh, say like buckets will stay in the input and everything else will go into the output. And if you wanna craft salt with a water bucket, you want the water bucket to go out, but the pot to stay in. And you can't do that with this crafter. So that's why I make fresh water, fresh water in this. And then I have a crafter here making the fresh water into salt. And currently it filled up the cheese, which is really nice. Uh, the cheese is made with fresh milk and salt, and it's currently just making uh, the insane amount of butter. So we have no fresh water on star stock and no salt. So once the butter is finished, which is gonna take uh, a little bit longer to make this, uh, so I'm just gonna go fight the Ender Dragon while all of this backlogs, and I'm gonna make like a stack of, uh, I don't know, hamburgers or something, just so I have a bit of decent food, because this garden soup is not gonna last me much, much longer. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna wait for this to to produce and the milk. I think I already showed how we did it We have an animal rancher and fluid transposer and then just this guy making fresh milk We don't need to have this configured because everything is just on those two Conduits and same here. We, ha we have it configured just so you can see and I can probably configure this one as well if we want to uh, But I'll we can just do this we can say off to activate and it's just gonna fill up with milk uh, and the the reason this is slower is because the speed of uh, this is a bit slow. 
So, yeah. Uh, we can also, instead of having push and pull, we can just have pull. And will that be faster? No, it's slower, I think. If I don't have push and pull. Because then it, the conduit tries to extract. And this is activated, yeah. Okay. So if we do that. And then, oh no. Ah. Okay, let's just grab fresh milk. We're gonna leave it activated. I'm gonna wait for all the milk to fill up and then configure it. But that's pretty much it that we have here. We can kind of cover it up. And I also added a drawer controller that is gonna be hidden like so. I have it here with an external storage on top or a storage bus, and it's just connected to this same cable. So we have uh, that in the system now. Hello, lag. Will you let me fall down? Thank you. <laughs> Uh, sometimes that happens. Okay, so let's just come over here, say never active. We're gonna go fresh milk. Uh, and this guy will pull the the bucket out, I think. Yep. Okay, so we need to grab some buckets. And this shouldn't... Okay, it pulls all of them at the same time. Hold on. Ha, I got it. Okay, and now we can activate it. So now it has water buckets and the fresh milk. And we can just click in the fresh milk there. It should be neat. Okay, sweet. Awesome. Uh, let's just get out. We're gonna cover this up with facades and everything. I, I still need to... I have the painting machine. I need to make more facades and cover that up. But we'll do that on stream probably at some point. So yeah, I'll just leave this be. Make the butter, make everything. And now we're gonna go just up top here. And we can set up the rest, some recipes. Uh, so we need uh, the delighted, delighted meal. So we can go over to the, to here, find the, I need the raw, just regular steak, raw beef. It's so weird. I can't, it's just too much. That's venison, ground beef. Raw beef, cow essence, recipe, go. I'm gonna put you here, okay? So if I now search for beef, we have a few in the system, so that's lovely. And next we need the toast, which is the bread, which is the dough. So we need, yeah, we need a lot of stuff to, to, to get this going. So for the moment, uh, do you do any sort of, you do just a little bit. Uh, so we have potatoes. And let's go grab, I think heavy cream makes mashed potatoes and it might be salt. So if you look at mashed potato, this is buttered, it's, so it's butter and baked potatoes and uh, salt. So I'll grab some butter. And then I need just the water and uh, that to make salt. So we'll go, we'll go to the old base. I have the furnace here still. So we'll toss you in here to get cooked. And then I need to make some salt. Let's craft a stack. Also, my fridges are now different looking or they don't have the door visible. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I do have the still the, if we look at mashed or potato. We need buttered potatoes. So th those are still cooking. So they'll need to process and I'll just make uh, just some mashed potato and have that for the food for the dragon fight. So yeah, let me go now find the end uh, with some eyes of ender and then we I need to also bring some glass bottles because the the angel ring requires the the ender star which is dragon's breath prismarine we get from sieving we need another star so we're gonna go fight a wither after uh, but first I'll go to the end. I made it here to the end portal. I also explored the f the fortress or the stronghold and I found a bunch of bookshelves in the book in the libraries. I got a Lure 3 ancient tome and a Fortune 3 ancient tome. This would be really cool in vanilla and we could probably still do this if we wanted to, but then we would have to repair a pickaxe. But this the ancient tome basically means you can get a Fortune 4 pickaxe, basically. So um, that would be a ca the case in vanilla. It would be really cool to get Fortune 4. And you can get efficiency 6 as well. Uh, which in vanilla gives you uh, instant mine without haste, I believe. Or maybe with just haste one. Um, I'm not sure. But we're here. Well, hopefully we load in faster than the Ender Dragon. You have visited the end. 
Do you work? You work. I just needed to replace it. Okay. We have flight. We have dragon. I have two dynamites. So I, I wanted to use TNT, but I can just use this. If we get up high enough, we can just throw that there. That should blow it up. And there's one over here as well. So let's just get this one. Boom. Nice. And then I need to just use the bow. And I'm not going to be able to fly much longer. So I can do this from the floor. Or you know what I'll do? I'll just fly over to... Fly a little bit. Get possibly a couple. Oh, though that's going way up higher. Okay, so let me kill the dragon. I think it's not going to be much of a difficult fight because it's the same as vanilla, I think. Uh, if something interesting happens, I'll make sure to press record and see see what what is going to happen. But yeah, let me kill the dragon and I'll be back shortly. So I realized I went back to the base to get water bottles, but or water bottles, glass bottles, but I forgot them. So I think we can we can use this ender sack. It says it's a portable ender chest. I will Google it as well if it links up to your ender chest because I would, I mean, I can mine some obsidian. Hold on, we can, we can, we can test. We'll, let's test together. And this, oh, this will allow me to get a whole bunch of obsidian. Hello, Enderman. Can you please not be mad at me? Ow, and the dragon, can you chill? I also made a few delighted meals. Stop, die, thank you. Let's just vein mine a little bit of this. Zerp. okay. And let's get out a little bit. I might have made another Enderman mad. I think I did. Yeah, there it goes. Come on. Stop. There you go. Okay. Um, do I have a crafting table? I just destroyed a bunch of wood. I just trash canned it. And I don't, I'm, I will have a handheld crafting table. I'm, I'm just like... Because we can do this and that. And we're going to put an ender chest down. And we can see if this, let's put a stack of obsidian here. It is my ender chest. Okay. So what I'll do is this obsidian can go off the edge. I don't care. Uh, I'm going to put everything that I can in my backpack. Everything that I want to kind of save. We don't really need grains of infinity. We don't need an iron bar. Like we don't need these arrows. I can bring more. Uh, and I'll just basically put everything that I can in this backpack right here. I'll keep the hang glider on me. Uh, ender book, that, that, another ender sack. Well, well, we'll keep one on us. And I'm going to take everything that I have here in my extended inventory. I could also make probably, uh, I think I'll have enough space. We'll see. Yeah, if we then start putting things in here. And inventory, because I don't know what drops and what doesn't. I also have dragon armor. No, 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 no. He killed my ender chest. That's fine. Okay. That is perfectly fine by me. Just don't drop me off the edge is what I want. Okay, in the backpack I should have mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna grab those and store my delighted meals in here. We don't even, I'll just keep a couple just so if he hits me again I don't, don't die. Okay, so we can put that in and all of that. And then in my baubles, I should have my air charm, my ring, my automatic torch placer, gluttony charm, and ring of magnetizing. It's everything, I think. Mashed potato, I need to put it in the backpack. Um, what do I not care about? Mashed potatoes. I'll keep them on me. And we can put the backpack in. Now we have everything in our ender chest. I have another ender pouch in here, and we can just craft another ender chest. We should be good. I could even just toss away the positive chisel design. That's a thing that I don't really need or the tape measure. It's fine. Uh, let's just go. Um, everything is good. Bobbles are empty. Extended inventory is empty. Let's go take a dive. Bye, cruel world. Okay. I'll respawn back at the base. Down here. Haha. -ha. We made it. And if I grab an ender chest, I don't have enough obsidian. Oh God. Uh, what does it need? It's just an ender chest. Okay, obsidian. Can I make you somehow igneous extruder? 
Okay, how much lava? I have lava somewhere in, in the drum. I have 16 buckets of lava. Okay. Let me make an ender chest. I didn't know that you lose your extending, extended inventory on death. Uh, I found one in the end and I just ate it and immediately. I didn't know I should save it. So we're going to have to craft another one, but I'm missing eggs and I'm not going to go look for chickens as of right now. So I'll just keep everything that I have in my backpack and we can just toss the TNT away because we don't really need it right now anymore. I have arrows. I brought the glass bottles now. We can toss the conduits away and now I can go back to the end. We don't have enough experience, so we can just do this and give me some levels, please. That should be enough. Oh, it uses quite a bit of levels. Okay, and I should probably just remove this and now I need to find the end portal again because I just put it somewhere here in the end. Uh, I think it was down, probably. I think I went like here. Yeah, I can just follow my torches. And then I went up here. And over here, and then it's over here. Haha, -ha, found it. Okay, we can do end portal and say new. Awesome. Okay, uh, let's go kill this dragon then. And there we go. The dragon is dead. It is dropping its stuff. There's the dragon hurt. We're gonna go pick that up in a moment. Uh, it's gonna put on a dragon egg, which we can just right click. Hello, Enderman, please. You were mad at the dragon, not me. Thank you. Okay all the XP so that's gonna be lots of traveling and that the did we get the dragon heart oh it's in it's on my hotbar okay nice I also noticed I killed a fire dragon off camera and I noticed you can get uh, dragon hearts from those as well because if you look at dragon heart there's ice dragon fire dragon hearts uh, is there only ice and fire dragons but these you can convert back into dragon hearts, which is cool. So let me just right click you. And we're gonna grab this. Awesome. Sweet. We can now get also a dragon egg meal. Uh, dragon egg. Is that a different recipe? No, it's the same. It's just two nether stars. Cool. Sweet. Uh, do we need to do anything else in the end? Do we need shulkers for anything? We need an elytra, so we can craft that, but shulkers aren't really used for anything other than a rainbow cannon or then the filters and shulker boxes to have them upgrades. Or you can use, oh, it's used for car, uh, wyvern cores. Okay, so we're gonna need shulkers in the, pa in the future anyway, but we have a teleport to the end, so we can just go explore that later. I don't wanna do it right now. And since the elytra is craftable, it's all good. So we're back home now. Apparently every time I go through friggin' dimensions, it's gonna it's gonna do the whole thing where I lose health. Uh, okay, dragon heart, we don't need that. Dragon we can keep later. We got some premium essence and dragon scales, that's cool. So if we now grab with wi their skeleton skulls and soul sand, I do have a little bit. Uh, and then we need Obsidian, uh, reinforced obsidian. That's dark iron bars or draconium infused obsidian. Uh, we need obsidian in general because we only have four pieces of obsidian. But um, I could trap it in the end, in the end portal. That'll be, I think, the simplest way I can do this. So let's just grab one obsidian and we're gonna go back to the end. I made it over here to the end and we can now put on the soul sand we just need two blocks in between and then you can spawn the wither sideways and i'm just gonna run away so i don't die from the explosion and that should keep the wither inside hopefully it doesn't vanilla so unless they tweaked something to, to make the wither not get stuck in bedrock this will escape no but you, it's fine. We can just smack smack and get ourselves some more stores. so let me kill a few as much as probably i have soul sand and uh, I'll just have a, a little bit of nether star storage just so we can use them up for different things. We can make a dragon egg mill so we can get more uh, GP and all that. But let me kill some withers and we'll be back shortly. I'm back from the end now. I got seven nether stars. So we have those for anything that we need nether stars for, for like the angel ring, for example. Uh, and I also set up over uh, here, I have the patterns for everything for the delighted meals. So if we just say, let's say 14, just so we fill up our stack. We're not really gonna use the lighted meals, I don't think, for uh, for power. Uh, we could, but I don't think we will. Uh, we could use miners too, though. 
that could be neat because we're making that stuff from the sieves pretty fast. But this is still taking quite a bit of time to craft because of all of the crafting steps that it has. So I could set up machines that auto craft this and then I have all of auto crafted delighted meals all the time. But I think it's it's fine if I'm just gonna use them for food. It's fine that it, it crafts a bit slower and it's all good. We have uh, infinite food and infinite nutrition. It's already filled up. So we get strength to resistance to and toughness as well, which is really neat. Uh, I need to craft that inventory upgrade, but I'll do that off camera. So that is good. Uh, I also died again in the void and I went and got my stuff in creative. I'm going to mention that because I, I just... Uh, find it really weird that this ring of the flying squid doesn't work when you trap like I travel through dimensions You can see I cannot fly now. I have to take it here with the bobbles and do that I don't know what this does is it either it shows it or something, but it doesn't update it I don't know if I have it in my inventory if it updates properly, but um, If that's the case, I'll keep it in my inventory, but we can upgrade it to the angel ring anyway angel ring So do we have any everything that we need we have the squid we need this ender star that's not a problem. Then we need a ethereal glass, which is s s these ingots. So we can do these nuggets. Uh, and we, let's just get 18 nuggets. Because the unstable ingots are, uh, explode up and do that. Uh, we need lapis in here. And then we can add some speed upgrades. This shouldn't overload my grid power. I don't think. Oh, it will overload our grip power. Okay. Well, we'll get, we can, in the meantime, while that gets crafted, we can do this. Okay, we need stone burnt. That's fine. We need a resonating redstone. That's all, all good. And I have polished stone in this is in here. So we can get that going for us. And you're very, very slow. Okay, hold on. Get me stone burnt. and get me back the speed upgrades. Can I use just like one speed upgrade? That's gonna be 60 GP, there it goes. Okay, I just need four pieces of stone burnt. And we should be good. Everything else I have, okay. Two, I'm just gonna do this together. Three, last one, four, awesome. Dragon egg mill, I'll put you right in this corner and we're gonna grab our dragon egg <clears throat> dragon egg and bam bunch more gp sweet so i can give you upgrades now we'll take that out and make the lapis okay let me just wait for the lapis to get made it's gonna take a little bit so yeah I have everything ready here to craft the angel ring. I had to go over to the uh, outer end islands to get some chorus fruit, so I just did that off camera, and we can now craft the angel ring. Lovely. So with this, we can now creatively fly, which is amazing. Woohoo! No more pressing spacebar a whole bunch. <laughs> okay, sweet. That. Oh, and it's super fast. It's faster than normal. Oh, that's so nice. Unless the Supremium armor gives me some speed, but I don't think it does. It's faster than normal, though. It's really cool. Hello, Skelly Bob. How did you get here? Can you spawn on this dark glass? I don't know. Okay. Do you have anything for me? Do you have lots of quantum suit pants? And the potatoes are not going into the drawers because I'm extracting out of the chest uh, into the drawers. And I would need to set up this ender chest where we have the potatoes. Or we can just add potatoes to the void filter. We'll do that. And take this. And put potatoes. There you go. Eat potatoes. There you go. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, awesome. We have creative flight. Let me look at uh, how much time we have left on this episode and we'll see what we can do next. I think it's a good point to end the episode off here. We created delighted meals. We have those on AutoCraft now. So we have infinite good food. So that is assorted. We have creative flight, which is going to be amazing and help with building and all that. And we also defeated the Ender Dragon. So we got some dragon's breath and dragon eggs and more GP and all that stuff. So yeah, with that, I want to thank you all for watching. I'm hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Also, consider subscribing to see new videos. Support me on Patreon if you want to play with me on the Stoneblock server. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.